All right, we're gonna little down some of these damn bottles. start this uh, crap first off and get this going. I'll set this in the pantry in there. This is my first time uh, making um, cabbage. I mean, I call it crap. I've always made uh, cabbage crap. So this is my first time for the collars. I don't really measure the salt. I just kind of guesstimate and, and hope I... Is this the kosher? Um, kind of guesstimate how much I put in there. So it's just salt, and I use uh, spring water. And uh, either your coll collars or your um, cabbage. I pack it in there pretty tight. That's the way I was taught to do the cabbage crowd, so I imagine the collar would be about the same. Do a little sprinkle of salt. I don't know, I might, I don't know if I'm going to do two or three gallons. We'll see how far I get with this. I'm thinking this might, it looks like it's growing, don't it? Let's see what we got. Let me get, uh, in there. I'm going to have to find me a little something. Most times I use those old school uh, cannon jars, you know, with the glass lids. I uh, generally just kind of put one of those in here in top, on top to, uh, you know, keep everything below the brine. You don't want anything floating out, you know, on top of the brine. You want everything to stay submerged throughout the, uh, I don't know, that's probably going to be two gallons. Yeah, I think two gallons is enough for me to try to play with first time out. We don't want to miss that bit. Might have to dig in one of them other bowls back there to finish topping off the other <clears throat> gallon full over there. Pack it down. Put one more little bit in there. I don't believe. Because I want to give it the room to, it's going to work a little bit. So we got to have a little room to, you know, move and work and stuff. And you want to set something underneath it because it will, it will, it can, um, you know, bubble over so a little bit more on top. No, I don't ever know about the salt. Most time it work out though. And we're going to put some water in there. I might be able to smash it down a little bit after I get uh, this water in here. I put it in a little dark, cool, dark place and uh, let it work. And it's going to smell strong now. It, it, it smells strong. It's, it's for a minute. I think I'm going to take a little spoon and taste this water and see what it tastes like. Let's see. Alright. Mark it down. I think. Like I said, I'm going to take a spoon and uh, see what this water tastes like. <laughs> See. I used uh, kosher salt for uh, this. I'm not even going to take a little bit more salt. Let's stop it right there. Didn't get too much. I don't believe it did. Because there's some salt in them layers in there. I don't know if I'm tasting all of it, you know. We don't want to go overboard. I think I'm gonna roll it right there. Let's get another spoon, taste it one more time. 
I believe it'd be good right there, I think. Yeah, that's enough salt. Alright, so I'm gonna get one of these little lids and throw in here. Let me see if I have any in here. I don't. I need to be on the lookout. Which I got these. I think I'm gonna use these. I'm gonna be on the lookout for uh, maybe some small little saucers that'll fit in there. This will work. I just put something in there to kind of weigh to keep it weighted down. And uh, I put the lid on loosely. And I'm going to get a, like a baking dish or something to put underneath it. Um, so it, uh, you know, won't flow over on stuff I don't want it to flow over on. Anyway, I'm going to do the other one. And uh, looks like I'm probably going to do the two gallons. And then we're going to get back over here to blanching and things. i got to figure out my ice situation. That's what i got to figure out. <laughs> 